Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. This trumpet has a problem that is very common on Bach Stradivarius instruments. When you push the valves down, if you go straight up and down, they work well. The problem is that when you play a trumpet, usually you do not push the valves straight up and down. A lot of times you push them off to the side a little bit, and it's just something you do without even thinking about. So if I push this off to the side, it sticks and then it pops back up. The third valve comes up halfway and then stops and then keeps going up. That is a big problem, but there is a very simple fix to it, and I will show you what that is. In a previous video, I mentioned that before I got the trumpet, the valves were replaced. So they were all three new valves, but they did not fit into the casings. So I lapped them in and got them to fit. So the valves fit into the casings the right way, but there is one more problem that causes the valves to chatter as they come up. If your valves are stuck on your trumpet, do not assume that this is the problem, because there are many other things that can make valves get stuck. Here's the valve casing, and the piston is inside of the casing, and what happens is when you push the valve stem off to the side a little bit, it will take the valve and push off to the side slightly, and it's enough to get that shoulder of the valve kind of wedged into the casing, the inside of the casing, just a little bit. Now, it's not a lot that we're talking here. Probably just a couple of ten thousandths of an inch, and a very little bit, but it's enough to get it to kind of stop, and then what happens is it straightens out and then it can go up. To fix the problem, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some lapping compound right at the top of the valve, and not over the whole valve, just over the top, and I'm going to lap it down just a little bit, and what that's going to do is it will take off the edge off of the shoulder of the valve, off the top of the shoulder of the valve, and also it will take down the metal inside of the casing just a little bit. It will just take the edge off of it. It will not take off a lot of metal, just enough so that the edge is taken off so that when it does tip to the side a little bit, it will not get caught in there, but it will just go straight up like it's supposed to. I'm going to take out the valve and clean up the face of the valve. I'm going to clean up all of the oil. And then I'm also going to clean up inside of the casing. Then I need to remove the valve cap and the valve guide. So you do that by removing those parts. Pull out, you pull out the spring, pull out the valve guide. Then you put the valve stem back on. I'm going to take off the felt so that that does not get dirty. And then put the finger button back on. And that's what you want it to look like when you lap it. I have some lapping compound, and this comes from Freeze Tools. It's L58 Ultra Smooth Lapping Compound. This lapping compound works very well on instruments, and it's actually made for instruments specifically. So you take a little bit of lapping compound, and you put it just on the very top of the valve. Like that. Normally when you lap a valve, you want it to go all the way up and down inside of the casing. But when you're doing this repair, you want it to stay right at the top. You do not want the lapping compound to work its way down because the valves have already been fit into the casings. What I'm trying to do is just take off the edge right at the very top and you want the lapping compound to stay right in that area. So what I'm going to do is put this in the casing and I'm only going to put it down about that far. You don't want it to go much farther down than the valve normally goes. And then I'm going to turn it around a few times to distribute the, the lapping compound. And then I'm going to go up and down a little bit above where the other valves are and then a little bit below where the other valves are. But right in that little area. And then I'm going to just go up and down, and while I'm doing this, I'm pushing it off to the side. Usually when you play a trumpet, the valves do not go straight up and down. Usually when you play it, the valves go a little bit off to the side. It's just the natural way that you play a trumpet usually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the valve off to the side, kind of the way I would if I were playing the instrument. But as I go up and down, I'm going to turn it just a little bit and I'm also pushing off to the side while I'm doing this. And then I do that for maybe about a minute or so, not for very long. I do not want to go too far, and this is taking off a 
tiny bit of metal. I mean, we're talking an extremely small amount, but still we are taking off metal. And you always want to be very careful when you're removing metal not to get too much off. Okay, that's probably good. So I'm going to pull this out. And you can see that the, the lamping compound, for the most part, stayed where it was supposed to. Of course, when I pulled the valve out, a little bit did go down. So I'm going to clean the lamping compound off of the valve. And then I'm also going to clean up inside of the casing. And that will get off some of the lapping compound. And to clean it up some more, put some valve oil on the valve and work it back and forth, up and down a little bit. You may need to do this two or three times to get more of the lapping compound out of there. But you'll never get all of it out. It will work its way out with time. And when it's played and the player oils the valves, it will come out eventually. I put the valve back together, I'm going to oil it, and we'll see how it works. It goes up and down fine when I push it straight up and down. If I push it off to the side, will it still go up and down? And yes, it does. I am pushing it off to the side. Now the first valve works like it's supposed to. I'm going to do the same thing to the second and third valves, too. If the trumpet's done, the valves work well. Even if I push them sideways, they still go up and down. So that's good. You're ready to go. When you get new valves and fit them into place, they work well. A lot of times you give it back to the customer and there are a few problems here and there along the way. But usually if you just keep playing it, keep oiling them, it will flush the junk through the casings and out the bottom of the valves. The valves work themselves in after a while and then it works fine. But there may be problems at first, but usually they work better after just a little while. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.